Right now, a mother is facing charges in a deadly fire that happened the day before Thanksgiving. It happened at an East Point apartment complex. The fire killing a four year old little girl and sending her twin sister to the hospital with serious burns. Police arrested the girl's mother and tonight she is accused of setting that fire on purpose. Want to go live now to 11 Alive's Dawn White. She's in East Point with reaction from neighbors, including the man who risked his life to save one of those little girls. Dawn. Well, Joe, this building behind me, you can see it is a total loss and the people that lived here, they say that they are left with nothing. Take a look at this woman. This is 27 year old Nicole Ashley Jackson. She is behind bars at this hour, charged with murder, attempted murder, criminal attempt to commit felony and arson. She also faces two counts of first degree cruelty to children. The fire tore through the Brookfield apartments along Washington Road on Wednesday. Seven families are now displaced and crews found the body of one of the four year old twins inside the apartment. Ricardo Tolbert, known as Uncle Top in the complex, risked his own life to rescue the other twin, as well as knock on doors, saving dozens of other people. We spoke with Tolbert soon after the fire happened, and now that Jackson has been charged, he can't believe tonight his neighbor is now accused of these crimes. Angry and disappointed. That was, that was the first thing. Why would she do that? And, you know, at first I called myself being angry. I said, well, I can't be angry at her. The only thing I can do is pray for her at this point in time, so... I just wish that the grandparents could come over and so I can, you know, get in touch with them and see the baby because I don't want all I want to do is know how the baby doing. <laughs> Investigators have scheduled a press conference on Monday coming up at 11. I'll have more from some of the people who live here on their interactions with that mother, hmm. Joe. And that one girl still dealing with the recovery of those serious burns. Dawn will be keeping her in our prayers.